everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a tutorial. I wanted to go back to the basics and film something very, very classic. Something that suits all different eye shapes, whether you have hooded eyes or big eyes or whatever eye shape you have. And something that, you know, has colours in it that really make anyone's eye colour pop, no matter what skin colour you are as well. So yeah, I created kind of like a winged out smoky look, really easy to recreate. You can obviously use your own colours if you want to. I went for kind of a gold, um, and kind of taut blended out black eye and just really simple skin it's kind of like a modern take on a smoky eye so I hope you really enjoy it and I will see you soon so I'm going to begin by applying an eye base and actually I've used a couple now and I would say my favorite one has to be the MAC Painterly I would say it's the smoothest one and um, it's the easiest one to work with um, although it does dry fairly fast so you need to be pretty quick when you're blending out so now I'm just using a lovely transition colour and this one is called Soft Brown and I think it's probably one of the most popular transition colours out there but it's a gorgeous kind of warm taupey brown colour with a hint of orange and it's just a lovely transition colour and I'm just kind of buffing that onto the eye but I'm also applying it on the lid and I'm just taking it above the crease as well. And I'm also just adding a little bit of that soft brown just underneath the eye so that when we apply the darker colours and the eyeliners it's going to be a nice graduated smooth blend. Now a lot of the black shadows I've used in the past tend to blend out to kind of a blue hue on the eye and I know the um, MAC um, Carbon is notorious of doing that and if you do own that but you still want to get some use out of it just apply a little bit of brown on top to kind of mute down the blue. Now one eyeshadow that I found that doesn't do that is actually um, Makeup Geeks Carbon which I have in a little palette here and it's a gorgeously pigmented silky eyeshadow so I'm going to be using that today on the outer corner. Now I know normal, you know, some smoky eyes people like to do black all on the lid but personally I don't find that very flattering so we're just going to be work working from the outer corner. So I'm just placing the shadow on the outer corner and just make sure you're placing the shadow rather than um, kind of blending it at this stage because you definitely will get a little bit too much mess to begin with. So now we have the shape of the black shadow that we want, I'm just going to go back and kind of pat on the black just to take it in kind of halfway with the black just on the crease. So now I'm just taking a cleaner brush, this is just the MAC 217 and I'm basically just going to begin to blend out that black. So you don't have to take it too high when you're applying the colour, you can definitely move the colour up when you're blending it. I'm just softly buffing the colour on the inner corner. Now normally when you're blending out black shadows they tend to go a little bit patchy so what I like to do is I like to go back in a second time with a black shadow just in the areas that I want the most depth to be. So we're going to leave that kind of blown out blended look and just apply it in the outer corner. So now I want to take that dark colour and apply it underneath to kind of balance out the look and I'm using one of my favourite brushes to do that, this is the NARS smudge brush I just have a little bit of the corrupt on and I'm just going to start from the outer corner and just press really closely against my lashes um, we're not going to do the blended out look now, we're just going to start applying the layers and smoky eyes are really all about layers starting from the darkest, blending out to the lightest so you want to concentrate on that now I'm just going to take a larger fluffier brush and I'm just going to blend out that black just so it kind of moves up just a little bit because it's always good you know no matter what type of eyes you have just to look straight ahead and just see how the shadows plays for example with my eyes they're slightly hooded so when you know I'm looking down they just look um, kind of blended and big but then when my eyes are open and you can only kind of see that which is what I want but just by blending it a little bit with a clean brush will definitely make a difference. So now I'm just going to take a little bit more of the soft brown shade that we used um, as a transition colour. I'm kind of just going to blend it a little bit more into the black. And I'm starting down a little bit further than I normally would, kind of just place it on the black. And then take a clean brush and then just buff that a lot higher up. 
Now when it comes to smoky eyes, I really do think a gorgeous metallic shade is beautiful, you know, kind of just a hint, a little bit in the front of the eye looks gorgeous, or whether you just want to do a little highlight on the inner corner, either of the two just makes your eyes look more awake, and it kind of avoids that kind of black punched in the eye kind of look if you get what I mean and I love bronze shades for this because they're universally flattering you know all eye colours can wear them and they're just beautiful on all skin tones from light to dark and my favourite bronze shade for this is Woodwinked by MAC so I'm just going to apply a little bit just on the forefront of the eye and I'm just blending out the transition with my finger I'm also just going to take just a little bit, just in this portion of the eye. So now I'm going to take a little bit of soft brown on this little brush here, which I love for blending out my bottom lashes. This is in a Kevin O'Quan small eyeshadow slash eyebrow brush. And this is a great investment if you want to really buff under your eyes. It's kind of a little small one, so you can really have a controlled motion. And I'm just focusing on the outer corners, and I'm just blending that black that we applied. Because it's not a pencil, it doesn't really set, so we can really get in there and blend it. So now I'm going to be using a waterproof pencil to line my tight line, just to make everything really black from the inside, because I think a key with a smoky eye, um, if you want to in particular, is to really kind of concentrate right next to the lash root, and then to make it kind of fade into nothing. So that's what I'm going to do. Just a little bit on the lower waterline too. I'm also going to take some of that pencil just in between my lashes on the top and quickly blend it out because it is a kind of a waterproof product. This is literally just to darken up the lashes to give us that kind of blacked out look. Then just taking the nice smudge brush, just blending that. Now I'm just going to go under the bottom lash again with this brush that we used for the transition colour. This was one of the first brushes we used, so the only colour it has on it is the soft brown. And I am just going to buff out the bottom again after we cleaned up. Now on to curling the lashes, I have some new lash curlers, these are the Kevin Aquan, and I believe he helped kind of create the Shoe Mirror ones, so they're a little bit wider so you can fit more of your eye in there. If you have more of a kind of wider eye. Now my favourite mascara to give you that really kind of smoky, sultry look is the Mal Norman Wicked Lash Mascara. This one is amazing. The brush is like bigger than my head and it really gets in there and you can really kind of buff the lashes up and give them a really nice black appearance. Give them some volume. I'm just going to take some on the bottom as well, because why not? So I've just done my brows using my normal products, my um, Shoe & Mirror Hard Pencil and my Makeup Forever Brow Seal, and now I'm just applying a little bit of Illamasqua Skin, ba skin Base Foundation, um, just quickly in my redness. This foundation is quite yellow, but it's going to give me a nice coverage. I think there's actually um, a couple, like I think they're downstairs having an argument and I hope they don't walk past the window because I have a window here and if he walks past he's going to see me film, it's going to be really awkward. So maybe I'll just pretend to ignore him. Hmm. This foundation kind of makes me look like a vampire, so I'm just using a fairly light um, highlighting concealer. going in with my fingers to dab it because the thing is once you've done your smoky eye you want to be really careful not to disturb the natural blending of the under eye shadow so if you use your finger it's going to be a little bit easier you may have to go in after but this way makes it a little bit less hassle and I always like to kind of brighten this part here now I'm just going to set with my usual powder just lightly setting this uh, concealer because it is a little bit illuminating. We want to make sure it's not going anywhere.
Now I'm just going to add some blush and if I still look a little bit washed out I may go in with a little bit of bronzer. And for blush I think I'm going to try out this colour here. I'm not sure what this one's called but I'll definitely, well it probably will be linked here to be honest. Let's see what this one looks like. Let's experiment shall we. Oh I love it. I don't normally go for kind of cool toned pinks but this one's really pretty. What do you think? Pretty? No? Yay? So I'm also going to be taking a little bit of this highlight here. This one by the way is that limited NARS palette that came out for Christmas I believe. And I never use it but I saw it today and I'm like I definitely need to use that. So apply a little bit of that highlighter. Why not? That's my new catch catchphrase, why not? So you guessed it, with a smoky eye you have to do a nude lip and one of my favourite nude lipsticks to date is Meredith by Jouer. Gorgeous kind of pinky nude, so I'm going to be using that with no lip liner just because I want it to be kind of effortless for a change. <laughs> so I'd say this is more of a wash of colour just so it doesn't look too undone. I really like this lipstick colour actually. I never normally kind of blot it in. I normally just go straight from the bullet because I'm lazy like that. But I really like it like this and I think it gives it that kind of undone, effortless look rather than being too polished, you know, with the lip gloss and stuff. So I really do think with smoky eyes you have to kind of work out the balance between polished and kind of undone and coming somewhere in the middle there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you have any requests below because I mean I definitely thought today I wanted to do like a real nice classic you know everyday evening time smoky eye um, and hope that ticks a lot of your boxes if you wanted to see this but if you do have any more ideas for me definitely leave them in the down box below and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, bye!